Hi, and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source for what's happening on our campus and in your community. I'm Danielle Foley, and joining us today is the box office assistant, Lauren Serracio. Thank you for joining us today, Lauren. Thank you for having me. Yes, no problem. So there are three different departments in the Performing Arts Center. Can you tell me a little bit about what goes on there? Certainly. We support mostly the theater department. That's what most of the professors and adjuncts are in that building. We okay. also do some music. So mm -hmm. we support a lot of the music recitals and um, like music faculty as well. Okay. They do shows. And then we also do a dance ensemble for the dance students that take classes. Unfortunately, we don't house them in our building, but uh -huh. they'll come once a semester to do their recitals. That's good. So there's a lot of things going on right there. Yep. We're and always busy. <laughs> And what kind of classes are offered over in that building? We actually get a variety of classes, but our theater classes are, you know, basically our focus. Right. So we do acting and technical theater and musical performance and voice lessons. And we do theater appreciation to give you a basic idea of theater history. Okay. So there's a lot of different classes that we have there. And can students earn a degree in theater? or? We have two degrees right now. There's an acting track and then there's also a musical performance track. So okay. we do have the two different degrees and, you know, hopefully more in the future. That's nice. So there's many events that are... Um sponsored by the Performing Arts Center throughout the year. And I know one of your biggest events is the Haunted, uh, Haunted Theater. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about what that is? That's a, a big event for us because it's students, alumni, everyone gets involved, staff members. Okay. So it's a big thing that we do every year. It's our biggest event. Um, mm -hmm. We take the entire theater and we turn it over into a haunted attraction. Oh, um, wow. We do kids tours during the day. So okay. we're able to get the kids in. We do a, like a brief tour. The not so scary is kind of how we, we phrase it. We try oh, to make okay. it more interactive so they'll have a good time. Right. They get to see the makeup artists and kind of what they do and how oh. they get people ready for the tour. Oh, that's nice. And then the night tour is the come at your own risk. So that's the scary tour. Okay. Um, and every year we transform almost every building and then sometimes we, you know, we've been in the outside the past two years. So we're definitely mm -hmm. trying to expand and we're definitely trying to continue to make it bigger and bigger every year. Right. So the people, they would come and what do they do? They walk through? It's basically a tour. Okay. So what happens is we start, you know, in like our main house. That's what we did uh -huh. this year. And then every year the route's a little different. Right. And people go through the building, and it's been neat. I mean, we've had students come back and take the tours, and they don't even know what room they're in anymore. Oh, my God. They're like, wait, what room is this? <laughs> so they get out, and then, you know, they come to see you afterwards, and they're like, wow, I have no idea so where I was even. Transforms it, right? Yeah, it's, something. it's pretty good. It's pretty, you know, it's scary. We have a lot of return people that come mm -hmm. every year, and, you know, it's good we get some feedback every year, so we're able to kind of change it up a little bit. That's and, really nice. And try to make everybody happy. That's good. So um, upcoming shows for the next season. Season. You have, um, I know there's a whole list of them right here. So yes. I know you're starting with the Art Deco, right, in the February? Yes, we do that twice a year, mm -hmm. and that's um, a jazz trio that we do. Um, okay. And then we also do two shows usually in our spring, two main theater shows. So like this year we're doing um, A Raisin in the Sun, and then mm -hmm. You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown will be our musical. Okay. Um, and then during the season we also do like the big band. They do two performances a year, uh -huh. all the different recitals. Gotcha. So we support a lot of different things and a lot of different shows. Right. So I know I last, last semester I went to see a few shows and they're really nice. They put them together very well and... We work yeah. really hard and we try to be as, it's the most professional experience possible. Uh -huh. I mean, we try to give students a really good overview uh -huh. of, you know, how it would work. I mean, you know, how they would be in right. the, out there in the real theater world. Yeah. So um, if students want to get involved with the Performing Arts Center, what should they do? Well, we have a theater club, okay, um, and that's a good way for students to get involved because they also house their own events. They do a lot of benefits. Okay. Um, you know, we also get a lot of people that will contact us and ask us, you know, do you have students who might want to do this? Mm -hmm. So it's good experience, too, because it gets you out there, makes those connections that's that really you good. would need as you go on to, you know, four-year school or if you go on to that's theater directly. Great. That's really good and so then, that they can be involved. So. Yeah. And all right, well, I'm sorry, but that's all the time we have right now. Our guest today was Lauren Serracio, and thank you for joining us on Brookdale Newsmakers. For more information, visit us at brookdalecc.edu. Thank you so much for this interview, and I wish you much success with the Performing Arts Center. Thank I'm you. Danielle Foley. See you next time here on Brookdale Newsmakers.